Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm here with a product review. This one is on a new mascara. It is the new L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. I do have the packaging right here. It is completely torn open, but I wanted to keep it after using it so you could just see how it comes. So here you go. It is very eye-catching because of that purple, the whole butterfly. It states tight line effect at roots, band out volume at tips. And this ranges for seven or eight dollars, depending on some other locations you can find it for nine dollars. But um, I think the cheapest is at Walmart or Target. I actually found mine at a CBS. Um, so very reasonably priced. It is a drugstore. Always use a coupon if you can to get it even cheaper. I did pick up Blackest Black. I always pick up whichever version of mascara. I always get the Blackest Black or, you know, the deepest black that they have in their line. But let's open up this and show you. So the packaging is sleek. I like it. You know, very eye-catching. It's similar to the other ones they have. Oh gosh, what is that one called? I think they have another butterfly one that's maybe green. I don't know. I've never tried any of the other ones. I heard some good things about this. This just recently launched, I think, in the States. But I believe out in the UK they um, already have this. And I saw some reviews from some of the UK vloggers. But I want to try it out. I am sucker for mascara. I always want to try new mascara. I have very small delicate lashes so I'm always looking for something that's really gonna volumize and add length. The wand is a little bizarre but I get where they're going with it. It kind of looks like a butterfly wing you know like a half a wing and all the bristles are just on one side and they're very tiny small little spikes and it's funny when you look at it this way it's almost flat and it's almost like if you were to uh, separate something and open it up like a book, that's how this looks to me. Kind of looks like one of those Venus fly traps a little bit and then it tapers at the tip. But the teeth are on either side. I was very skeptical of this wand because there are not a lot of teeth or bristles. You know, it is a plastic wand, so I always refer to those as little teeth. But the spikes, there's barely any it almost just looks like a flat plastic wand and I thought there's no way that this is going to work for me but I love this mascara I do have it on today and like I said I have very delicate thin lashes they're not super long so I need volume I want length kind of want an all-in-one mascara and I'm so surprised by this wand I feel like I'm getting more and more into the plastic ones I used to be hands down a bristle classic wand but they're coming out with some different and weird designs that actually work well with my lashes. They hug the lashes and add some nice volume to them. And I, I think it gives good separation and I don't know. I'm happy with how my lashes look. I only have two coats on and not very heavy coats. I only use one application for one coat. So I just pull it out of the tube and I do one eye and then I do another one and then I go back and build up a little bit on that eye and then go back. So I'm only using one um, application, I guess. I never know how to say that. So, you know, once you take it out of, I don't go back in for more product is really what I'm saying. And I like the results a lot. I think what I like most about this mascara is I can use it on my bottom lashes. I have a hard time with mascara for the bottom lashes. I barely have any lashes on the bottom. They're kind of almost um, scattered. They're super small. I kind of have a bald spot over on this side. So I either just use my NYX, the skinny mascara. It has a very small wand and it can get in there or I don't ever use um, mascara on the bottom lashes because it just they look weird and if you don't have a whole lot of lashes there's no point of even putting mascara on it's just actually going to exaggerate the little that you have but this one it actually I think it's the way the wand is designed it got so many of the hairs that I normally can't get 
and it added nice darkness at the root. I like that effect that my bottom lashes are having with this mascara and it doesn't transfer. It does, you know, down here at the bottom. I have the hardest time with mascaras if I put it on the bottom. I always have a line here of where the lashes are hitting. So I hate how some mascaras do that and this one doesn't. It doesn't flake or get gross in any way. They're not crunchy. I mean, I have two coats on and it feels like there's mascara there, but they're not super crunchy. You know, they're actually movable. You can, oops. I'm curious to see how the formula is after I've had it for a while and it dries up a little bit more. I would say this is kind of a, a medium thickness. You know, it's not a super wet formula, but it's not a super dry formula. It's kind of right in the middle, which I prefer. Um, and also what I like about the packaging too is when you pull out the wand, there's not a product that gets on here. It's just enough to use and it doesn't glob up and get like a huge chunk on one area and you have to clean off the excess. You know what I mean? I hate when that happens. I just feel like you're wasting so much product. But overall, I give this mascara two big thumbs up. I love this. I recommend trying it out. I think that even if you have really luscious lashes this is just gonna this is gonna make it look like you have false lashes I I just I don't see anyone hating this I think you could probably go overboard and it could get clumpy but I haven't found it clumping at all anywho I'm gonna stop babbling on and on definitely recommend checking this out and it's drugstore it's inexpensive use a coupon and it will be even cheaper so that is it for me today don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up up if you liked it and of course if you haven't subscribed you know where that button lives thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one bye for mascara I'm gonna use the covergirl super sizer it's in black of course and just gonna get the, the wiggle as close to the roots as possible I'm kind of just flicking out 